everyone, it's Susie. Welcome to my Fluid Art channel. So today I have, um, I have a bunch of colors mixed up and I'm planning to do a bloom on a large canvas. The canvas is a 16 by 16 inch canvas and it's a gallery wrap with the thick edges. So the blooms are a little bit harder to do on a large canvas as far as like getting sales throughout the whole bloom. But I want to work on that today and try to get more sales in the canvas. I'm trying to get a bloom, a large bloom, with a whole lot of sales. So starting out with blowing out the pillow paint, which is the blue color that's on the canvas. And I made that with a few different colors of blue that I had left over and I mixed it all together and just added some more American flow trial to it. And this is teal by Amsterdam that's going on the canvas first. It's an opaque color. I like to mix opaque and, and translucent colors together. So this one's opaque. Now the next one's semi-opaque. It's the Deoxazine Purple by Liquitex. Yeah, when you mix the opaques and the metallics translucents together, you get more cells. And this is ultramarine blue, and that is by Liquitex. So next we have cerulean blue. And that's by Amsterdam. This is emerald green and it's by Deco Art. It's a metallic color. Now this is gold and that's by Deco Art. It's the 24 karat gold. This is purple by Amsterdam, and it's the dark violet purple. Now what I mix with the paints, this is lavender and it's by Folk Art. It's a pretty lavender color, metallic. What I mix with the colors is about a tablespoon of medium, and I'm using Saks Medium right now. And I put a little bit of polyurethane in it, maybe a teaspoon in each one, just to bring out some shine. This is teal that I'm going over again with the teal. And then I add American Floetrol to bring it to the right consistency. And the important thing is to have all the colors the same consistency. So work with the Floetrol and water also if I need to thin it down a little bit more. Now this is the cell activator and it's made with Australian Floetrol and white titanium paint. And it's about a three to one ratio three parts Floetrol, one part paint. And I use this small blow dryer to blow it out. It's a mini blow dryer. It works really well for me. People have different preferences for blowing the blooms out. But this is the one I like. Now see, because it's a larger bloom, it's not the white's not really blowing out throughout the whole bloom, and it, that's what you need in order to get the cells to activate. So I'm, what I'm gonna do is put a little bit more cell activator on the petals to see if we can get some more blooms. I mean, not blooms, but cells. <laughs> Now 
Now the heat gun that pops the bubbles and it brings out cells if there are any hiding under the paint that are wanting to pop up. So now I'm gonna place some more cell activator on these blooms that didn't get any cells. See if we can get some more. Okay, well, I think that did bring out a little bit more cells in the blooms and the petals.
everyone. I just wanted to show you how this turned out. So this is the size of the canvas. It went over the edges really nicely. And I don't know if you can see. And if there are any, any spots, I can cover that up with the blue. And because um, there are a few spots that got missed. But look, this isn't it pretty? It got more sales than they usually do, and they got bigger when it was spun. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so I can put out more videos for you. Take care. God bless.